And good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Monday Morning Mortgage Message. And uh, we're here for an update today on, can you believe it, April 4th already? And um, let's jump right in because we saw a little stall in the rates on their decline. And uh, it was a little bit of good news. So let's kind of look to see what's happening right now. Today we're down a little bit, but let's look at the actual markets. Let's look to see what these the candlestick ch charts are showing us. As you saw, let me show you this real fast. This is a pretty distinct trend line. And if you look at this trend line where we're at right now, we bumped above it right here. We locked a bunch of loans right here before it fell back down. But we're right on that trade, that trend line. So that's not a good sign. If we can break above that, uh, rates may get better. But we did see, I mean, we dipped all the way down here, guys, and came all the way back. So we did see some positive movement. Uh, but we are still on that trend line downward on the bond market, which is not good for rates. So let's kind of see, let's give you an idea of where we're at right now for the, month, the uh, Mortgage News Daily Daily Rate Survey. So 30-year fixed right now, we're at 4.88. That's a little bit worse than where we were last week on Friday when it closed. 15-year, we're at 4.22. Again, this is what points, guys. So we're into the fives without points, which is tough to say, but it is what it is. Um, I do see that we are in some, uh, there's more signs of the recession that are hitting. We're, we're in that inverted yield curve. And again, that's when you invest in a two-year bond versus a 10-year, and it's more lucrative to invest in a short term than a long term. That That's not normal. That's not really the way things are supposed to work. Usually the longer the term, the more money you can make on your investment when you're buying bonds. So that is an indication of a recession. Typically, that means within 90 to 180 days, we will be in a recession. Uh, that's the average once we see an inverted yield curve. And with the feds raising the fed funds rate, uh, most likely 50 basis points in May, uh, and then an additional 100 basis points for the remainder of the year, the feds may just go ahead and push us into that recession. Recessions are good for rates. So they're good for mortgage rates. Keep that in mind. Interest rates um, really do well during recessionary periods. So that could help us and give us a little relief there, which could in turn help the housing market. Um, usually the housing markets are really good during recessions and there is appreciation. So um, keep that in mind. So this is your mortgage rate update for the day. Um, again, rates right around the 5% with no points. And if you guys need anything, I will always be here for you. We are the Woolen Mortgage Team of Cherry Creek Mortgage, WoolenMortgageTeam.com. You can always reach me direct on my cell, 480-322-4544. That's 480-322-4544. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon.